guys, we're here with a Vintage Prelim. We're playing some Vintage Dredge. This deck basically tries to mulligan to Bizarre Baghdad, use cards like Force of Negation, Force of Will, to interact with the opponent, and flip over its whole deck using Creeping Chill, Icarid, Bridge from Below, and Dark Amoebas, Prize and Ogles to win the game. As judges like Stinky Dent, Shambling Vent, or Shambling Shell, Thug, and Troll. We've got some nice sideboard cards in Force of Vigor, Leyline, and some other ways to interact with the opponent. Let's get into the games. Game deck with all the wastelands. Um, Mulligan. As if you do not have Bizarre Baghdad in your hand, you Mulligan in game ones. So that's just how it is. Uh, powder. Mulligan again. Um, sometimes you just don't have Bizarre Baghdad. This is something like 2% or something. I don't remember exactly how much it's supposed to happen. I should have tried to figure out what opponent was on. That was a big mistake to just... Yeah, that was really, really bad to not see what opponent was on, because now we can't sideboard. Um, but actually, I should have sideboard in probably like these. Let me try this at least, yeah. Hmm. I'll try this, like, at the least. We'll see how it goes for me. Playing, you don't know what they're playing. Yeah, it was like really dumb of me to not see what they were playing. I should have let them actually kill me, but. Well, yeah, they know I'm on dredge because of the powders. We'll see how punished we get. Hmm. Powder. I'll keep. A little 12 blue cards. Yeah, it's good enough, I think. Six. This hand is pretty good. It has Force of Vigor plus like a Dredger. Maybe dredging or doing this immediately was like bad. I'm not quite sure though. Dredger's fine, yeah. Problem is like if they like rest and peace me or something. I feel like he's the type of guy to like rest and peace me or something. Jab containment priest. Time walk. Alright. I think I'm fine bizarre in here. Let's see what they've got for me. Did you have the containment priest? Okay, sure. 
I literally have zero, I have zero answers to this. Um, we could, like, continue to play. Probably should. I mean, I have Hollow One, but, like, I don't know. I don't really want to play anymore. <laughs> uh, I left my Creeping Chills in, I guess, as well, so not the end of the world. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that's fine. <laughs> okay, now we're now we're actually just dead. We can't realistically beat the Starmer Glyph. Playing Bant. Why would you ever play Bant? Why would you ever play Bant? Yep. I mean, it, it's my fault. I would have left him like I would have sideboarded probably differently here. Probably would have brought in Sickening Souls. But it's, like, hard, because usually people, like, put a bunch of different cards in their deck. Um, against Stretch, to make it so they don't actually have, like, one answer to it. Like, it used to just be, like, Leyline, but now people go, like, okay, I'm gonna play some Containment Priests, some Graph Diggers Cages, some Rest in Pieces, and, like, a bunch of different stuff to try and get you. Well, hopefully we can do a bit better next round and not Mulligan 2-0 on our game one. Okay, we're back for round... Two, I guess, for round three for us. Let's see if we can find a Bizarre Baghdad in our opening hand. Well, not on that one, not that one. What deck would I play? Um, I would look at what everyone's playing and then make a decision based off of that. Personally, I would play... Um, Yeah, personally, I would play Mono Red Prowess, but that's just because, you know, I want to play Mono Red Prowess. But, like, if I saw a lot of combo decks, I would not play that. I think playing a deck that beats whatever the expected meta is is the decision you should make. 46 Red Black Shadow. Interesting metagame. Um, what deck beats Omnath and or it like has a reasonable matchup versus Omnath plus Black Red Shadow? Because I'd say Mill if it's just Omnath. But with Shadow being there, Mill's not so great. Maybe the Green White Toolbox deck? But I'm not so sure. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, it's kind of a problem. I think I'm supposed to just try and draw stuff here. But I don't know. Black green infect. I mean, infect seems horrendous against shadow. I wish we four color omnath. I think you're slightly favored versus. Actually, I mean, I guess obo. Actually, I would be pretty fine with obos there, right? Like, Red Black, or Mono Red Obos is good against both of those decks. I think. Like, you're, you clown the Shadow matchup. At least, I think. Play Gruul. I would definitely not play Gruul. Doesn't Gruul have, like, a horrendous Shadow matchup? I should have force negationed there. Not sure why I didn't. Classic girl. Yeah, I would probably play Mono Red Obosh in those. Though, I think, like, Green White Titan or Heliod Company is not that bad either. Christmas, thank you. I'm Jewish, but you know, I still appreciate it. <laughs> no one, no one asks, no one says Happy Hanukkah anymore, you know? <laughs> Jewish. 
name every two. Adam Sandler. Easy. Now you. How much money you got? Straight up. Straight up. How much money you got? Playing like main deck sprite dragon, blue red breach cards. Just need to draw a bizarro Baghdad. I think blue red prowess is just a bad deck. And I don't think anyone can convince me otherwise. Opponent happened to have Wasteland in their deck, Vade and Sprite Dragon. Oh, my opponent's playing like the. Bl Wait, they had Double Mountain in their deck. What the fuck? I'm just playing against like random garbage, I just realized. Like, better prowess deck. What is like. What, what do you get out of Blue Red Prowess? You get, like, a 3-3 three, three flyer that you have to put, like, a bunch of bad cards in your deck to make playable? Seems, like, bad to me. Maybe I'm missing something, though. Even a tier two deck. <laughs> uh. I mean, yeah, Omnath is, like, obviously clearly the best deck, but the thing is, like, we're, the thing is, like, Omnath can't be a large enough part of the metagame because it's too expensive. Like, you literally, it's literally priced out of people. I mean, we may just be getting, like, opponent just happened to have Wasteland game one and then, like, we mulligan into Oblivion game two. Yeah, all math 100%. <laughs> the pro so, while I think all math is the best deck, you like every you know that every single deck will have a, a good sideboard plan against you. Like, we'll have dedicated like four to six cards against your deck, basically. said <laughs> I can believe that that's the best format I'm just so confused about what my opponent's deck is I want to like keep this wasteland in case like a tabernacle basically I mean, we're, like, close to, like, a big rotation of standard, right? I mean, like, I wish it was kind of like the six-month rotation that they originally, like, thought of with Arena out now and how, like, big changes, like, happen. And since you can't, like, nerf or change cards, 
in like magic real realistically um like i think having a quicker rotation in case things get like boring is a good idea I mean, I assume they just have, like, Mind Break Trap, but we've got to, like, start doing something here, right? I assume now we're going to get trapped. Wait, we're not going to get trapped? What is in my opponent's hand? I'm so confused. I guess I'm going to Cabal Therapy them, naming Underworld Breach. By right, Dragon Bridge playable? Yes. Wait, what? Now they Wrath Trap? What? What just happened? What just happened? I'm so confused. Guess we're just playing against Blood Moon. Yeah, I mean, I guess I guess that's how it goes. Attacking. I guess they're not blocking my Narcomy Bow. Oh yeah, yeah. I gotta learn how to like win my game game ones with dredge. The fact that I'm losing them is like I guess it's not absurd if you look at the games. Like I should be losing those games because one of them was Morgan Zero, the other one was Get Wastelanded, and then never drew another one. Like, these games are very, very disappointing. Nothing I can really do. And uh, hopefully we can do a bit better in the next round. <laughs> so we're back for the final round. You've only seen me lose, but we'll see if we can win this time. Um... I'm going to keep the Forceful in my hand over the Cabal Therapy. Maybe that's wrong. Maybe over the Stinkweed Dump is also wrong as well. This is the time to GA bad boy. It's like it, it, the bat, like, I feel like Canister could play it up a lot more, and people would like understand that he's playing it up, and like people would love it. Like, he plays it up to an extent, like being a memer to an extent, and like jabbing people as well. But I feel like he could, he could play it up even more, and like people would understand that. I think. I think he's like the closest we've got, right? He's got quite a bit already. Let's talk to you. It's not pretty some of the time. I can believe it. Doomsay MTG, thanks for the follow. I appreciate it. Whenever I've like actually watched pro wrestling, I don't watch a lot of it, or I haven't watched a lot of it. I had a friend who was like really into it, and when I watched it with him, it was like great. Like hearing about the storylines and all that shit.
Narco Amoeba. Did we hit a Cabal Therapy? I don't think so. I don't know. With my respect. I, I don't think I've done it on stream, but I've definitely no conceded to, to Infinite Life off stream. They actually fucking kill each other? Well, no. The thing... WWE... It's... It's theater. It's just theater. Like... Once I realized it was theater, it, like, made so much more sense. Like, UFC is is a different thing. Is Cling to Dust? I mean, Cling to Dust in? I am getting Cling to Dust in. Mm -hmm. Like, I, UFC and WWE are two completely different things. Yeah, people don't like conceding sometimes in Infinite Life. Stinky, stinky. Ditch three stinks. Think they're just dead now? We'll see, though. Mm -hmm. Watching the ground game. BJJ. For some reason, that sounds familiar. I can't quite remember why it's familiar. Let me see if he has no outs. If I'm in, like, a tournament or multi-queuing, I will not concede, just because, like, I, I want the time. Um... Essentially, mana stretch for intense, intense purposes. Um, kind of. I used to watch UFC back when it was like, what was the, I mean, I, I remember watching it on like, it didn't, not when it came out, but I remember like the hard copy DVDs of UFC like 1 through 8. I thought that shit was hot. I used to watch UFC when it was like UFC like 40 to 50. I watched like Ultimate Fighter 7. Like, I remember watching UFC 100 live. Uh, those are the good old days. I find like most sports like, reasonable to watch. Thanks, Gold Clamp. I appreciate it. If you want, like, a song request or whatever, I can give you. Why did I not discard more prize emblems there? That was uh, idiotic for me. at USC 100? No, no, no. Yeah. 
UFC 100 happened in 2009. <laughs> uh. Hmm. Interesting. And... I mean, if you want the no rules stuff, what was it called? I think it was called Pride Japan. I used to watch Pride Japan as well. A bit. Not that much, but at least a little bit. Days for some reason. What are they constituting for? Bigger views, he bought it out. Yeah. Pride Japan, you, like, just straight up see, like, curb stomp, curb stomp people's heads. I think the only thing that wasn't legal was, like, nut shots, but, like, I can't remember. So long ago. Hmm. But, okay, I think the best UFC fight I ever saw, or at least one that I thought was really funny... was, uh, I remember it, it was Kimbo Slice fighting, and he just, like, a raging hard on, and it was really funny to watch, I thought. Hmm. Back of the head? Oh, okay. Yeah, no, Kimbo was obviously just for marketing, right? Okay, opponent, what's going on here? Let's see what you can figure out. Line of the boy. Okay. Stretch this. Wonder what we exiled. It's not that big of a deal. Do I put up lethal for next turn? Not quite. I think it's fine to do this, trying to find like a hollow one. I'm getting rid of these two. Mercury blast, sure. Sure. I get a dig here, probably. Do they have Lotus still in their deck?
No, I think this is fine to let go, actually. And then we have forest, they have days, we have trap, I guess. How many creeping chills do we have left? So I'll determine if we can still like win this game, basically. There's one, two, we have a couple left. We did a sideboard out any, right? Yep, I did not. Dark ritual. Okay. Doomsday, I assume. Adding two-step authentication for my YouTube. You could show him in the middle of the game. Nah, that would be nice. An opponent's thinking about how to play around like Force Blood, right? <laughs> hmm. Could beat Force, but likely they can see the trap. Yeah, I mean, they have days in their hand, right? We know about days. They can beat Force of Will. So I'm just wondering what they're thinking about right now. going on here <sighs> hmm opponent deep 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 in the tank mm hmm What are they thinking about that? Huh? Like vintage matches really go into time. The only matches that go into time are like the Jeskai mirrors, I think. Those matches usually get complicated and take a while to actually kill your opponent all the time. Disconnect. They did not disconnect. They're still there. Hmm. Opponent. I 
wonder what they're trying to figure out. I mean, they have a Thassa's Oracle left because they only milled over one, it seems like. Oh, thanks for the sub tape. Appreciate it. Oh my god. <laughs> for for people who don't know, there's some context to that. Um me and Stolen Goods. It was like a week ago or something, I think. We decided to play ten matches of Fall Guys. Um Yeah, I should just let this resolve, I think. So we were playing Fall Guys, but we decided that to start off playing Fall Guys, um, whoever won, like between us, whoever got it further, would have to take a shot. Or no, not who won. Whoever lost and didn't get as far as the other person had to take a full shot. If we tied, we both had to take half a shot. And if any person won, um, I, if I won, he would have to take a shot with a shot of Sriracha mixed in. And I would have had to take a shot with a shot of soy sauce mixed in. And we started it off with, you know, half shots before we started. And because, you know, I was just trying to have some fun. He said GG's. GG's to opponent. Got ourselves a 2-2 in this. Oh, we'll finish. I guess I'll finish the story. But so, we were playing, and we were like, okay, we'll play ten matches. And then I won four, four wins, three draws, two losses. No, it must have been four draws. Maybe it was five wins, four, three draws, two losses. Something like that. I can't quite remember. I saw this win come. It's possible. I mean, you possibly just can't beat this once the Doomsday resolves. Because then he can't win this turn. But, um, yeah. So, we did that. And, uh, I ended up winning. So he's, he's talking mad shit, even though, you know, he lost. <laughs> But, you know, if you came here for the magic out of the Fall Guys story, make sure to like the video, subscribe to the channel, follow me on Twitch and Twitter in the description below, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Bye-bye.